we're going to look at a magnitude of projection of a vector onto another vector. So if this question only said find the projection, then we would use the formula right here on the page. But what they want in this question is the magnitude of the projection. This is my favorite version of the formula. So we're going to be using that one right here. And let's go ahead and rewrite it. Projection W onto V is V dot W divided by magnitude W squared times W. Now when you see this projection formula here, what is in the parentheses, you're going to take a dot product, which gives you a number, also known as a scalar, and we have a magnitude squared, which is also a scalar. And of course, a scalar divided by a scalar, or a number divided by a number is just another number. So this whole thing is one number multiplied by a vector. So we're now going to find the magnitude. So let's go ahead. If I put magnitude on the left side, I have to take the magnitude of the right side. And there's going to be a couple of magnitude uh, properties we're going to use here. One of them is if you, let's see, I'll use alpha for a scalar and V for a vector. If you have a scalar times a vector, you can write it as absolute value of the scalar times the magnitude of the vector. So that's one thing that's happening here. The same works when you divide right here. So if we're dividing now, you cannot divide vectors. So it doesn't make sense to write V divided by W. But remember in the numerator, we're actually getting a dot product. So we have a number in the numerator. And in the bottom, we have a magnitude squared. That's another number. And when you have two numbers divided, you're looking at absolute value. And that means absolute value of the numerator divided by absolute value of the denominator. So let's go ahead and apply these. So I'll use this red marker right here. Everything in the parentheses is one, I'm trying to draw a nice alpha. Everything in the parentheses is one number. So let's think of it as the number alpha. And so I can distribute the magnitude to V dot W divided by magnitude W squared times the vector W's magnitude. So again, think about this as alpha right here. Okay, so next we're going to look into what we can do inside the division right here. There's another option. You can just compute this vector projection and then that vector you get at the end, you can just take the magnitude. That's a totally reasonable thing to do. I'm just exploring some of the algebraic properties of the magnitude to make this a little bit easier. So we got a number divided by a number, which means I can distribute just like this, my, in this case, their absolute values. So let's go ahead and do that. So we got V dot W absolute value divided by magnitude W squared. You don't need the extra absolute value here because magnitude is already positive. It's also being squared, so it's positive. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase those two times magnitude W. So we got magnitude W squared. So I'm gonna write that as magnitude W times magnitude W. And that's in the denominator and copy down the other magnitude W. So now we're looking at all numbers here, cancel, cancel. And we just have V dot W divided by magnitude W. And all we need to do is fill in the right, and this is of course copying from the top. This is projection of V onto W and it's the magnitude. All right, so let's write our vector, our vectors down. All right, this is important, the order that you do. So the, I always think of the vector that's written higher up as projecting down on the vector that's written below. So this projection 
This means projection of V down onto W. So that means this four negative seven is V and three negative three is W. So I'm gonna rewrite those here. V is four negative seven. W is three negative three. And we'll start filling those values in. So V is four negative seven dot W is three negative three divided by magnitude of W three negative three. All right, dot product is pretty straightforward to compute. You're just going to multiply the first coordinates and then multiply the second coordinates and add those together. So we got four times three plus negative seven times negative three divided by, remember magnitude, if our vector was AB and we're taking the magnitude, it's square root A squared plus B squared. So we have square root three squared plus three squared. You should be wondering what about the negative three? Well, what happens when you square negative you're gonna get positive. So when I know I'm gonna be squaring, I don't bother writing the negative because it's gonna just cancel out. All right, four times three is 12. Seven times three is 21. Those negatives cancel to be a positive. Three squared plus three squared, that's gonna be two times three squared. 12 and 21 is something, 33, hopefully. Don't need the absolute value because it's already positive. Now in the denominator, why do I write it like this? Well, three squared, you can bring that outside as a regular three, and you're left with square root two. Of course, 33 is three times 11, and you just cancel your threes. You got 11 over square root two. There we go. That would be the magnitude of the projection.